Hi, I'm Chase Masterson, and we're here at the Ecolux Lounge for the Rock and Roll a Movie Awards with Choices Recovery. And I'm here with Olympian Louise Hazel. Thank you so much for joining us. My pleasure. Louise, you were in the heptathlon at the London 2012 Olympics. Talk about healthy, talk about amazing discipline. Tell me a little bit about your your path to how you became an Olympian and the choices that you made in order to accomplish such great things. Well, I was really lucky, um, first of all. Um, I had a really you know, good gift, which was obviously sport. Uh, I trained for 18 years for the London Olympic Games. It was my first and final Olympic Games. Wow. After winning the 2010 Commonwealth Games. So everything, I was very lucky in the sense that my career kind of came to a head just at the right time. Luck, but also incredible discipline and an ability to make the right choices, which is really what we're here to talk about. Tell me how you made those choices at such a young age when all the other kids must have been partying and making unhealthy choices. How did you make the choice to do something so courageous and, and good with your life? I guess what it comes down to is strengths of character. Um, I've never been a follower. Um, I've always kind of been a real advocate of my own destiny. I thought I could stay out late, go out to the parties, drink alcohol, take drugs, but I felt like my talent, I had to just take advantage of it. I felt like it was easier for me to stay at home, get some good rest and go out and compete because that's where I got my buzz from. I found my passion in sport and I guess that's, you know, that's really unique for a, for a young lady. That is very unique. Congratulations Thank on being you. so together at such an early age. You said something really interesting about that's where you got your buzz from. And I think life is all about where we get our buzz from and whether we make a choice to do that in a healthy way or an unhealthy way. And the choices that you made in order to become an Olympian and the entire path that, that took you there, I really, I, I really commend that. Tell me a little bit more about making that choice on a daily basis. Well, for me it was simple. I didn't want to take the easy route. I knew that it would be hard to make it to the Olympic Games. I knew that it would be a challenge and that it would take dedication. And I wanted to test myself. I wanted to see exactly what I could do if I put my mind to something. I didn't want to go out partying. It was, it was a matter or a mindset really. I thought I only have one life and I want to live it to the fullest. And I want to enjoy every single moment. I don't want to miss it because I'm hungover. Or, I don't want to feel like I'm with friends that are going to pressure me into doing something I don't want to do. I just thought, it's my life, I'm going to take control of it. Amazing, beautiful. You only have one life and you don't want to miss it. Louise, really, truly, kudos to you on your strength of character. Thank you. And making the choices that you made in order to get to this incredible place in life. And that's what it's all about, isn't it? It's about the choices that we make and what we really want in the long run. Thank you so much for joining us, Louise. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you.